We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Sky Sox and the Oakland A's. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Jesus Lozardo, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan Klesak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Digging in, Corey Dickerson. He'll get us started in this one Reading under on the lights. The the designated hitter. Ready Corey. to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. And Dan Dero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, Matty B, we're looking at a team right now. They're just playing some average baseball through four games of this homestand. They split it two and two, Dero, and I think they expect a little bit more. Yeah, and you don't want to be playing average baseball in front of your home fans. They need to find a way to win this game and, and, and try and take three out of the first five of this homestand. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Mark DeRosa, what do they have to do to get the season off to a good start on the road? Matty, I love the way this lineup's constructed. Talking to the manager before the game, he focused on the fact that they have a pass the baton mentality. Everything's flowing for this lineup. Chances score a lot of runs. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Chapman has a play. Two gone. Batting third, the right fielder, Mookie Beth. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. First offering on its way. Betts who's often just referred to as plain old Mookie. He was a fifth round pick back in 2011. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become but he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle rounds. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought but he's in there with two bases. As we look again at that double here you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box smashed it down the line and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double and digging in next will be Anthony Rendon the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one one and oh. A ball and no strikes. Ball that out. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. The set and the two and one. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Every manager and every pitcher in the league loves to play with an early lead, and they've got one here. Back-to-back -back doubles put them up by a run with the opportunity to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. And here's the switch hitting catcher Yasmani Grandal. Simeon's there. 
Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the first coming up, the Sky Sox are out in front, one to nothing. Mike fulton gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year, and we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Oh, Guys, you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0 2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on two and two. He was heading to count 0 and two earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Here's Robbie Grossman. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Aye. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. Fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Popped up. Rendon over to his right. Two gone. That is good. That's good With that, job. let's look at the starting lineup for the hometown A's. Dero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Yeah, Matty, this team poses a lot of problems offensively. This is a scary lineup because they can beat you in a variety of ways. Not only do they have power in the middle of the order, but a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Back goes Betts at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. This thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson, as he'll fall behind here as he goes after a fastball that might have been out of the zone at strike one. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Oh, 
swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone two and two. Hey, you'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Here's the two and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Second inning set to go. Standing in, Luke Voigt. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball, that's in. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, 1 and 1. And it's 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes, it's out. Nope. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of playing off. It's back to 2 and 2. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Now Void with a high fly ball out to deep left field. And that is off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Any hitter will tell you that a shot like that just feels different. It sounds different off the bat. See his arms get extended. Right arm tucked up against his body. Barrel the bat all over the ball, and he smokes it right off the wall at left center. A little more hang time, and that one probably gets out of here. So now to the plate, Mike Yastrzemski. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Voigt leads off second with nobody out. Ball two. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. 3-0 and to him now. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. A runner at second, nobody out. hit to first reined in and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out that again the cook top Nick Ahmed striding in Nick Ahmed he was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss as were many of his teammates first pitch of the at bat and this is taken outside for ball one. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. Great situation to be up at the plate right now. But if you're on the mound, there is absolutely no reason to give in to him. Stay on the outer quadrants of the plate and don't get beat in the middle. Now the 2-0 home. Fouled off. Now the 2-1. High in the air into shallow left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. The center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Stepping into the box, Kevin Kiermaier. Trying to cash in here in his first at-bat with a runner at third and two gone. 
He's set. Here it comes. Hey. Men on third with two down. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Hard on the ground towards short, and that's through into left, a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself a fastball, but gets an off-speed pitch, doesn't try and do too much, and drives it for a base hit. To the plate now, Corey Dickerson. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Rounded weakly down the line toward third, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Two out with the man at first. Run, run, he's Kiermaier's going. running. Pitch outside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So now it's Mark Canna. Day Way off for him yesterday, eight. but back out there right for this field. one. Hey, we're Mark. still in the early stages in this one. Fair They're enough. only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls and a strike to count. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Now the pitch. Ball two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. First offering on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Line toward the gap in left center. Kiermaier calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Batting set. The designated hitter. Set. Brown. Next up for the A's, Seth Brown. will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Brown. A native Oregonian. He was selected in the 19th round back in the 2015 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1 and 2. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. We've played two full. The Sky Sox on top two to nothing. Striding forward now is the D.H. Corey Dickerson. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Fly ball right down the line in left. 
And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Tommy Edmond. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home. Ball two. 2 0. One out, nobody on. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul two and one. Here's the pitch. Ball left outside. Mookie Betts waits on deck. He loses him on ball four. The batter, the right fielder. Mookie. Here's Mookie Betts. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One and no pitch on the way. In the dirt here, and the runner will stay put, but the count moves to two and zero. Oh. From the belt, kicks and deals. There's a strike. It's two and one. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on two and zero, oh, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. And here's the three two from him. Breaking ball called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. In now is Anthony Rendon. Swung on by Rendon, and this is sent a deep left. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Into the box, Austin Allen, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First delivery to him on the way. Side two and one. And it's fouled away. Here now the two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. And 
And that brings up Chad Pinder. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. Pinder stands 6 2 as you see him in the right handed box. He was taken in the second round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. That's back to back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2 and you work the walk, but if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. comes the first pitch. Ramon Laureano comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. From the belt, kicks and deals. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. It's 2-1 to the A's leadoff batter. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Runner at first here, one man out. Three and two to the A's center fielder. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Into the box now, Robbie Grossman. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Grounded up the first baseline, but uh, this will get foul for strike two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for Oakland. They're still down. It's 2-0. the catcher Yasmani Grandal. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on its way. Outside target here and he hits it for strike one. A bouncer to the left side. Simeon's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The first base. Four. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Luke Voigt. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. 
Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Kenna is in his tracks now. Two gone. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And boy, you can see it there. A couple of power arms out there as both of these guys are working in the high 90s. Digging in for his second at bat, Mike Yastrzemski. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. I don't mind the aggressiveness right there. He was definitely trying to get the head to a fastball. He pulled the string on that hey. one. He's going to have to stay back a little bit longer. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Lays off that time and it's 1 and 2. Popped him up. Allen over to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the Cal Berkeley product Marcus Simeon is the first to bat in the inning. Pitch on the way. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. The one-one home. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but that finds its way through for a base hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. Well, it's always daunting to know that you've got to deal with the three, four, five hitters to start out an inning, but even more so when the three hitter starts it out with a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally, you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 0 1. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even 1 and 1. If you're in the box right now, you got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. Here it comes on one and one. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And this is hit hard to the right side. Back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And they're on the board as now it's a 2 1 ball game. The right fielder, number 20, Mark Cannon. Standing in now, Mark Canna, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. Whoa.
one and one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. And a full count for Canada now. Three balls and two strikes. One run on three hits. And no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And he fouls this one off. Oh, look at that stop. The second for one. Devoit in time for the double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. So base is empty now after the double play. And set to go is the third baseman, Matt Chapman. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. And it's one and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. I got to count. Two and two. One run on three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The 3-2 one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Two hits lead to a run here for Oakland. We played four full. The Sky Sox are out on top two to one. Digging in, Nick Ahmed. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Nick Ahmed. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Talk about starting off the inning with that bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. A line shot to third base. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. The bat, the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Corey Dickerson. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's set and the pitch. And the first pitch here is below the knees, but he gets him to chase it, and it's 0-1. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest, 1-1. One and one. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. The batter number 19. Second baseman, Tommy Edmund. 
Digging in, Tommy Edmond. It was a walk in his last trip. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Ripped on the ground to first. Right to him. Olsen takes it on his own, and the inning is over. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Colorado Springs leads this one two to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the A's. Striding in for Oakland, hitter. Seth Brown Seth. looking to put the ball in wow. play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Now here's the pitch. Aye. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's 1 and 2 now. Now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now. Three balls and two strikes a full count to the A's D.H. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2 what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey this could be a productive inning. Now the payoff pitch home. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. So stepping in, Austin Allen, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at-bat. Looking for a productive at-bat here. Get that runner from second over to third. The 1-0. It's the outside corner, strike one. And he misses two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. As a look, now the pitch. Oh, he's behind on the swing there, and the count moves to three and two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. No one out with a runner at second. Hit in the air to center field. Kiermeyer is right there, one down. Now batting, the second baseman, Jack Pinter. 
Into the box now, Chad Pinder reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit back up the middle. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batter, number 22. Digging in once again, Ramon Laureano. He's gone down on strikes twice already in this one. And Dan, when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this and you've punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Nope. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball at 1-0. Now yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. A bouncer up the middle. Throw on to Fort takes care of him, and the inning is over. The A's strand one. They still trail it here 2-1. to one. half of the sixth about to get started at the plate Mookie Betts he got called out on strikes his last time through yeah Maddie and hopefully he got it out of his system especially now he's got a bear down he gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play first pitch on its way ball one And it's a called strike to even the count at one. The one one. That's a ball. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Now the two one. Ball, that's out. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Right down Main Street caught him looking. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Into the box, Anthony Rendon. As he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1-0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Hey, last two pitches back-to-back -back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Hard ground ball to third. Chapman brings it in. And there's out number two. The catcher, number 28, Yasmani Grandal. Stepping up to the plate, Yosmani Grandal. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First delivery to him on the way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball 1, 1-0. One After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Now the 1-0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning.
Bottom of the sixth inning now. Stepping in, Robbie Grossman. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. Now the pitch. No balls and one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. And there's ball one. Look out, one and one. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to first oh. is in time for the first down. Looking in and looking for more, Marcus Semyon. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that misses for ball one. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. That's wide 2 and 0. Oh. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Down oh, low great. and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Not too often you see an at bat go from 3-0 to a strikeout, so that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3-0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. At the plate, Matt Olson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Now a swing and a fly ball. And they can't run it down. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Fouled away. The 2 2. Got him swinging in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. A's are gone in order. They're down 2 1. Lou Trevino will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. So digging in now, Luke Voigt. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. From the stretch. Oh, that's out. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. One oh count, here it is. Trevino offers up a cut fastball as a part of his arsenal, and it's one of the hardest around. It's not a mini slider. He puts a lot of juice behind it.
And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And right into the shift. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And a nope. good take Off there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. So striding forward now, Mike Yastrzemski. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting shortstop Nick Ahmed. Stepping into the box Nick Ahmed one for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Yeah. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Now the one oh finds the zone strike one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2-1 home. Down to 3-1. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. From the belt, kicks and deals. Takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Next will be the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one.
That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2 to 1 our score. A bullet to first base. The batter number 19, second baseman, Tommy Edmund. Digging in the switch hitter, Tommy Edmund. And he's got an opportunity to turn this narrow lead into a wide one if he can cash in here. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken up in the zone. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Come set, the 0 1. Two out, bases loaded. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Oh two. Too high. One and two. One ball. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? To two balls and two strikes now. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Bases are loaded here, two down. Swing, and he pops him up, and this should get him out of it. Pinder is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seven inning stretch. Michael Lorenzen will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Last half of the seventh here into the box now. Mark Kenna is struck out and bounced into a double play in his first two at bats. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Now, some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begin throwing. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Lorenzen, 28 years old. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. A 1 1. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Fouled off. Cutter and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner half of the plate. You can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there.
And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. This is skied out toward right. Betts back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The batter, number 15, designated hitter, Seth. Wow. In now, Seth Brown. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here comes the first pitch. The windup and the 0-1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Two out, nobody on. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. One, two, three, go the A's. Our score remains two to one. Yasmera Petit has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 36, Yusmero. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. In previous matchups with Yusmero Petit, he's hitless in three at bats. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. And that misses ball one. Now some action in that Oakland bullpen as it looks like a lefty started to get it going down there. The 1 0 home. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Racing back, the right fielder gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run there for Mookie. Home run number three here in the early going. As they extend the lead a bit, it's now three to one. And you know who's the happiest about that insurance run right now? The guys in the bullpen. They can now breathe a little easier knowing they have a bigger cushion to work with to close this one out. The third base, number six, Anthony. At the plate now, Anthony Rendon, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. Base is empty here with nobody out. Yeah. 
And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. So now to the plate, Yosmani Grandal. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. From the belt, kicks and deals. A runner at second, nobody out. To two and two now. <laughs> And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. The Stepping up now, the Luke thing. Voigt. It was a walk in his last Boy. trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. A ball and two strikes. One out and a runner on second base. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. That was a nice job to track that one down the alley because it definitely saved the run from scoring. Instead, he's only able to move up to third. Now at the plate, Mike Yastrzemski, runner in scoring position with two gone. First delivery to him on the way. A One ball up. and no strikes. That evens it up. One and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. lifted the other way down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball the one and two pitch Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Two 
two and two count. Here it comes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets him looking. Strike three. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Sky Sox lead this one 3-1. to one. Tyler Duffy is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Duffy. Ready for another chance? Austin Allen. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. One ball, no strikes to count. To first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Striding into the box, Chad Pinder comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. Off the plate, ball one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one, our score. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. The 1 1 home. Eight, two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. The one, two. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two-two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And this is taken nope. low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. The left fielder, number eight, Robbie. Stepping in, Robbie Grossman, Grossman, who represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving.
Here comes the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Now a throw over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. The 1 0 home. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. Now the one and one pitch. Pitch misses the throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. From the stretch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. One left for Oakland. Score holds. It's three to one. Jake Deepman enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Deepman. Striding in to start the ninth, Nick Ahmed as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. First offering on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Dickman has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. And here's a ball hit in the air. Chapman in foul ground and they can't run it down. Again he sends it out of play. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. Now batter, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Now with the play, Kevin Kiermaier. He's one for two in this one. First pitch on its way. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. One out, nobody on. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch sent on the ground out to second. He's got it and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batter, the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Corey Dickerson. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two out, nobody on. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Well, lefty on lefty, this is a tough matchup, but he stays in there, keeps that front shoulder closed, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there.
to the plate now Tommy Edmond as he'll take a look at ball one he was retired after popping out in his last at bat. The 1 0 skied into straightaway right long run for the right fielder he gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Keone Kella enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Keone Kella. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now to the plate, Marcus Simeon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. I don't know if he needs a few more warm-up pitches or he's just announcing his presence with authority. Either way, watch your face. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Pitch on the way. The count is two and one. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. The 2-2. Two -two. Drilled down the line. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Stepping in now, Matt Olson. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A one count. Here's the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Bases are empty, one man out. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Just hung in there on that one. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2 2 one more time is laid off of for ball number three. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Another full count pitch on its way. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Right two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole yeah, lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. 
Now at the plate, Mark Canna. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at-bat. Fouled off. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on-deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie it. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Last strike now for Oakland. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Colorado Springs jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Mike Fultonevich gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Jesus Lozardo pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Keone Kella earns the save out of the bullpen, his third of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody.